Hello, visuals, and welcome to the Digital Guys podcast, where this week you've been spoiled with free podcasts. You um, are, indeed. Because you are, indeed. Sunday would have, uh, yes, yeah, Sunday would have been, I'm going to chuck up the Spider Man trailer review shenanigans. I might as well just chuck up the What If on the Sunday and stick to your classic now on a Tuesday whilst there's reviews of Marvel shows going on. Um, entertainment news. So today is the entertainment news on a Tuesday. It is, and I'm going uh, <laughs> to. So to, we need to hurry up, but not hurry up. We'll have to wrap up so Chris can at least sit down. I'm going to quickly recap of last week's episode because last week was a bit of an um, episode of just. Oh, us, our episode. Yes. All oh, right. All oh, right. Yeah. There was a lot of going on. Yeah. In the background last, last week. week and the, the week before, we're kind of getting it again today. The week before was two dogs going nuts. Yes. Then last week's was drunk people, drunk deal, and Ian are just nuts because it was the night of the wrestling. So this week it should be if somebody doesn't be a prick. Uh, so it's too Yeah, you can though. chew that until you're blue in the face, but we don't mind about that. But yeah, I thought I'll just quickly recap on what we spoke through last week, just in case you weren't too sure what we were talking about, or if you knocked it off because of the yeah. noise or whatever else. I'll tell you what, though, we'll call this segment, Dan will shut the fuck up so Chris can run down everything you need to catch up from last week. Go! Okay, right. Kicking off was Sex Education Season 3. That's going to be back out again soon. 17th of September. That's that. Um, Gemma from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She is now part of Scarlet Invasion. Oh. So it looks like that she's been teaming up. You mean Secret with, Invasion? Secret Invasion, yeah. yes. Sorry. She looks like that she's been teaming up with um, Nick. Nick. Awesome. And with her techni- technical what, technology to work. Her technical. skills. Technological. Yes. Her skills. Um, Pacemaker season one's got a tribute a debut date for January 2022. Ah, oh, sweet. So that's that. Black Adam is finally got a date of July 29th. Next year? Next nice. year. 2022. The Flash has a release date now of November the 4th, 2022. And so does Aquaman in December 16th. Sweet, so November, December, Flash and Aquaman. Yes. Nice. Moving on to 23, we've got the second Shazam movie. Awesome. Uh, Fury of Gods. And then we've also got Batman in March of 20... <sighs> wait, 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 there, wait. Bear with me. March 2022, Batman. Yeah. I was going to say, then surely Shazam. he should come before... Then it's Shazam 2023. Then to the other way around. Mm-hmm. Um, Fast and Furious have confirmed a date for their 10th film, which is going to be April 2023. And that's part one. That's the first part of... So the, they're both... both 10 films, and 11 yeah. are going to be back to back. But they're part one and part two, aren't they? Yes. So like Infinity War and Endgame, you can just say the same film. Yes, it's going to be all part of the same film. So it's going to be Fast 10, Fast 11, part one, part two. Yeah. Um, 2023, April, and I'm going to guess probably April 2024, the next film will be out after that. Um, Captain America 4 has been confirmed by Anthony Mackie. Yeah, boy. So that is that. Eternals trailer we got last week for people who didn't see it. Yeah, we tried looks, to talk about that. Yep, yeah, it looks brilliant. It looks like we're going to get a more a, an evil version of Thanos, if not more evil. We've got the Celestials and we stuff. We do indeed. And we also finally get the reason on why they never turned up when all Earth was mm-hmm. going to shit when Thanos was having fun. And another look at Thingy, who's playing, um, John Snow's playing uh, Black Knight. Because you see him in London. Uh, London. All right. London yeah. when the bus is there, didn't you? Yeah, we didn't need. We didn't need. Um, just quickly scrolling, people, bear with me. Uh, uh, yeah, Loki season two is coming, but it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing that until at least the kickoff of phase five. Ugh. So it's going to be probably towards the end of 2024. So we'll have to Nice long way. It is late. It is a wait. We should make films in like a day. That would be amazing. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Black Canary is getting their HBO spin off. Yeah, the She's same girl from the film. film. It's the same film from Harley Quinn. It's also her from Lovecraft Country. Yes. As well. Um, 
Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker are getting back together once again for another Rush Hour film. Rush Hour! Uh, it's still an early day, still an early, early release. Uh, there's nothing information on that yet, but obviously we will keep you up to date once we hear something. And No Time To Die is getting pushed back in November in Australia because, again, it's all to do with money and profit. Just in Australia? For now. It will be getting pushed back over here, but it'll, right. it's Australia. No, they like um quickly right so i think i'm up to date so yeah that was last episode's just quick run through because obviously with all the noise, the noise. and everything else so this is this week's entertainment news um if you haven't already we have spoke heavily about spider-man so we won't go into that yeah this that, episode, podcast sucks. that it has its own podcast so if you want to Listen to anything about Spider Man or any details, go and watch our other podcast because it'll be on there. Especially, we're doing a lot of special for a trailer. For a trailer that we've never done before. <laughs> no. So, then if you want to see more trailer special one off thingies, let us know. We do not mind doing that. Oh, I can them. easily do that. Yes. Um, so, right. This is on to now. This is on to yeah. this week's right, okay. and seven news. Eddie Murphy, once again, as we spoke about a while ago, he was. Doing a Beverly Hills cop. Yeah, which would, I love the Beverly Hills yes, cops. I do as well. It, it has been confirmed it's happening and he's got the deal with Netflix. So oh, sweet. it's coming on to Netflix. Well, just do like a one off or potentially see what they do. Just see what happens and we'll go from there. Alright. Um, there is confirms there might be a sequel after it, but. I guess I'll just check. We'll see what the reviews are like and everything else before that. Which, actually, I enjoy the Beverly Hills Cops. Yeah, so. I like them. And it's been a while since we've seen Eddie. Well, it was um, say, he's, he's coming he's, to America too. Yeah. He's, um, he's coming back out, isn't he? So. Yes, he's, just been, he's coming back on the line, mate. He's, he's doing his stand-ups again. Yeah. He's doing films again, so it's a boot time. It's a boot time. A boot time. A boot time. Right. Venom looks like it's going to get fucking delayed again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes. Um, not too sure why, but it looks... <laughs> If, if this gets delayed, it looks like that Morbius is probably yeah, going to get delayed. So, so why it, that one? Because other bit like, we've got Shang Chi coming out in a couple of days. If Marvel aren't delaying them, sort of shit, right? If it's anything like Bond, it'll be all just money, money, money. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Um. Right. This one, I'm near. Yeah. Doctor Strange. Um. Madness. What was the madness? madness. Um, as we just talked about, we are going to see him wander at some point. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, according to sources, it, she's going to be having a fight with a Fox Universe person. Oh, who could she fight? She could fight. God, there's many numbers. She's fought loads of them before. It could easily be Magneto. It could easily be in a battle with Professor X. Hmm. <laughs> So that'd be interesting to to get your what, brains. What? So that fight's happening in Doctor Strange. Yes. So that so that mate, what I'm saying to you about that fucking mug, for fuck's sake, and if his film's bringing Fox, fuck off. <sighs> so yeah, it looks like she's going to be fighting someone from the Fox universe. So yeah. Could this be an early version of Loki, Wolverine? Loki Wolverine? Not a Logan, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> a Loki Wolverine. I am the god of mischief. <laughs> Logan. Um, I mean, fuck it, yeah. I would assume, though, if they're going to make a fight, it's going to be someone it's, on it's, the more psychic y. Magneto, then. <laughs> well, I'm going to get Magneto as a dad, but just not in the MCU. Yeah, but everyone has parent issues. Well, not yeah. everyone, but certain people have parental issues. You're a fucking tramp. Yeah, she did get, and her brother did get left, didn't they? So, right. So I'm, I'm down for it anyway, mate. You know why I am. So we'll have to figure out once we see Doctor Strange. Um, Rick and Morty has been confirmed. We're getting a season six and seven. Mint. So that's, I've still got a couple more episodes to watch. Oh, yeah, what? Because it was you that. No, did I find this out myself? The season five for this one's going to be an hour long special. Yes. Did you bring it up? I did. Yeah, I think you brought it up. I did, uh, which is going to be on the 8th of September, so not far away. It's been the best series for me so far. I've absolutely adored it. Yeah, I adored I've the enjoyed, rest. I've yeah. enjoyed this week's. Love the rest, of, the rest of the series, but just this has just been mint. Yeah. 
Um, season four of Cobra Kai will up on Tint's net, uh, web, the Netflix shortly. Oh, I know you haven't watched it. Oh. No. Um, but they've got season five renewed already. Everybody's buzzing over Cobra Kai. Plus now Cobra Kai and that will, uh, Thingy and uh, Daniel Son have, have joined forces now to go against Cobra Kai. I probably Kai. will watch it at some point. So, hey, don't get wrong. It's, it's, it's sometimes a bit corny, but it's, it's just mint. Yeah. All right, mate, calm down. Calm down, son, calm down. Um, let's have done that one. Done that one. D- uh, Doom Patrol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. season three of Doom Patrol, and uh, that comes on HBO Max in September twenty third. Um, it looks a weird, a weird episode, uh, season. This one. Yeah, well, Doom, Doom Patrol is a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've got any news on it, but have you caught the Titans? No, I haven't watched this week. Mm. Ah, right. No, it's been mint so far though. Yes, I fucking loved it. That's indeed. Um, Foundation. This is the film I talked about a while ago, but I didn't have much information. The Hugh Jackman one. Is that the Hugh Jackman one? No. no. What's the Hugh Jackman Water one? Huh? Hugh Jackman. Yeah, there was a Hugh Jackman Water. Oh, film. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. watched trailer for it now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember what that's called now. Foundation. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, Foundation. I talked about this a while ago, but because I didn't have much information, it was the shittest information whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got some more information. Tell you what, people, if you haven't already, get Apple TV. I recommend this to you because there's a lot of interesting shit coming out. If you're into your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi? Your sci-fi stuff. Oh, they're doing loads of sci-fi. They're doing a lot of sci-fi stuff. And before I even go any further, season C, season two of Jason Momoa, that has just came out today. See, I didn't watch season one. Recommend watching that. Mm. I also recommend his film, Sweet Girl. I watched it. I really enjoyed that. It was fun. Nice twist at the end. So yeah. I really enjoyed that. It, it, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, Foundation, it's set in the future. Mm-hmm. Where one scientist... That's kind of weird, that, because there's a future Foundation of Marvel Comics. I'm just joking out there. Carry on. Okay. Where they're living in a galactic space. Right. Okay. And there's one guy who's predicted that the Earth is, that this galactic space is dying. And he's trying to convince the rest of the people. Does it mean galactic space? Does mean they've like colonised other planets? Or there's just like a floating planet? A floating planet. Oh, sorry, like a, a floating, floating city yeah. in space. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he's trying, to come, he's trying to speak to everyone to say, look, it's dying. It's slowly stopped rotating. Once it stops rotating, it's basically going to cause a hell of a lot of shit and wars are going to happen and anything else. Mm-hmm. But they don't listen to him. Um, it's the guy who played the scientist guy in Chernobyl. Oh, okay. Him. Right, okay. Which is a good actor, I like him. Yeah. Um, so he ends, up getting a, he ends up getting a crew together and try and persuade everyone else with his crew as well as protect the planet out from other people and whatever else. Right. It, again, watch the trailer. There's a trailer online. Foundation. I'll go yeah. watch the trailer. There's a trailer online. Um, there's, this was done by books. There's 15 books of this by a, a writer um, stating back to the early early 90s. Oh, shit. So, the, the books, so books been, from a while ago. The books are like, world famous. This author. Um I can't remember. I don't know. No, I don't have the name. I could not tell you, like. Um, but yeah, I recommend you should watch it. Um, it comes out September twenty fourth. Mm-hmm. I recommend that. Um, again, Disney Plus. No, again, Sky. Uh, fucking hell. Apple TV. Apple TV. I will get there. Um, La Brie. La Brie. La Brie. That's the author. B R E A. No, 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 completely. Oh, right, sorry. Right, sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Um, L.A. Brie. L.A. Brie. Yeah, it's uh, in, in L.A., obviously. Los Angeles, the city of angels. Yep. Yeah. A giant sinkhole just appears in the middle of L.A. Okay. And it swallows a load of people, like mm-hmm. a shitload of people. And then they end up in a different world dimension. Like a parallel world. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like... Jurassic Park and Lost. Oh, have teamed up. Well, so there's like dinosaurs there. Yeah, but like, oh, all right. 
And like, so, sorry, I'm in talking about. So they end up on this, whatever they end up, where there's dinosaurs and whatever else. But they've got to try and get the way back home. But they don't know how to get back home, so they've got to like survive and everything else. But yeah, sounds interesting. Sounds, literally, when you said that, all I had in my head was Godzilla vs King Kong, where Kong goes to the centre of the earth, mm. and you've got that weird, yeah, jungly. <laughs> you can get, kind of look at that side of things. So, one in sinkhole, people fall through, and I assume they start like bickering and falling out. And hey, well, show her a this, film. This, uh, this is a series. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think there's a trailer yet. I haven't seen anything online. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. Have a look, people. Um, but yeah, it sounds interesting. And like I say, I didn't like Lost. I couldn't get into Lost. I adored Lost. But I love dinosaurs. Anything to do with dinosaurs, I'll watch. I'll, yeah, I'll never forget watching Lost and being absolutely terrified when you're hearing like the smoke monster and shit. And I was, and then the dam o'clock thing, and obviously, you probably didn't get that far. Where the Irish guy, sorry, he'd just be a freak, and the clock's counting down, you're like, ah, 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 oh, mate, I fucking love Lost. So, well, there you go, you, you might enjoy this then. It's Lost vs. Dinosaur. Lost and Dinosaur mixed together. It's got it's Lost and Jurassic World, so say, mixed together. Fucking Jurassic World. It's Lost at the minute, because we don't know where the fuck it's at. Um. Which is a. Wait, wait, wait. I'm reading, I'm reading people. I'm reading. She said. Whilst trying to get chowed on. Yes. You know Chew. You know Chew. Uh, 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 You're be a good Right, to okay. This next one. Have you seen Manifest? Manifest. Yes. Seen the, TV, the TV series where they go on a plane to fly from one city to another. But they ended up with a bit of turbulence. And then when they finally land, it was five and a half years later than... No, I haven't. Oh, but we spoke about it because they said that was a real life thing that actually happened. Yeah. Well, this is called 4400. Right. This TV series. Um, it's a CW uh, thing. Okay. It's a bit like that where, well, it was a bit like Manifest, where 4400 people just vanish and then they'll, they'll, they all reappear again, but they haven't aged a bit, but the world is like. A bit far in front. So it's like a f- our world's got the future, but they've literally had a blank spot, mm-hmm. reappeared and been like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, your guy in, uh, Mahersha yeah. Ali. Mahersha Ali? Yeah. Oh, he's nice. Gonna be in it. He's, he's the Air Force pilot um, who's trying to understand it as with the people, and because obviously he's a pilot, he gets put in charge and trying to figure out what's happened and all that. Okay, stuff. imagine not being a pilot to so then explaining. Basically, time travel, and you'd be like, Oh, I just <laughs> fly, play. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that and that. Um, again, sounds interesting. This is, like I said, this is a CW episode series, I should say. Um, so, we'll get this one if it goes well. I'm sure we'll get plenty of more ep- uh, seasons. Uh, this is out in October 25th. Oh, this year? Uh, yes. Sweet. Sweet. Hopefully you film Blade as well. Can't wait to see his Blade. Mm-hmm. The fuck are you doing? Um, for any of you that's seen Lock and Key uh, on Netflix, season two has finally released. You date. watched that, didn't you? No. Oh, did you? Know, somebody mm-hmm. watched that and did. Oh no, my bird. My bird watched it. <laughs> B. Yeah, my, <laughs> my B. bird. My my my, my old lady. Uh, yeah, B watched it. That's it. Because the... I thought it looked shit. What, she what, what is the premise of it? Is it just they, these kids find Mate. a key and then they get up somewhere no, else? The is best it a bit way, like the lion and in the wardrobe. The, the, the best way I can describe it is there's loads of keys and they keep going through different doors and weird shit behind each one. That's a, I mean I never watched it. I caught little glimpses of her watching it, but I don't know. It, it didn't sell it for me. I mean maybe I should give it a shout. Oh, well, for those who did watch it. Um, it's meant. It's cast as a mashed up horror mystery. Yeah, uh, it looked, looked like a horror thing. Um, after the season one cliffhanger, it, season two um, continues. So season two was got a release date of October this year. So there you go, people. 
What will be finishing the year off though is a f series that we are looking forward to, Dan. But I will not mention it yet because I'll keep it as the finale. <gasps> the main event. The main event. Hang like that. That's something we're both looking forward to. Eh? That's something we're both looking forward to. Yeah. Um, what has a, another season premiered on Paramount Plus is the season four of Star Trek Discovery. I am behind on this. I think I'm only halfway season through season two. Right. So I need to catch up. I haven't this. done. Um, um, done. I've done literally one season. So Star Trek Discovery uh, season four will be premiering soon. As a date, but it's definitely going to be this year. Other people. You know, it's right. Jackass this year. Yes. You better be getting your ass to sit on me, mate. Yes. Uh, this one for you, because I know you've seen Aye. it. Um, season three of You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking will love be, you. Will be coming. Netflix, again, hasn't got a specific date, but it will be happening. Ish. Yeah. I think if you go on to Netflix, I think that it They'll does... They'll probably have a date on their thingy one, yeah. once you scroll. I'm pretty sure it says it's a free coming soon. Riverdale yeah. started up again as well, by the way. I need to watch it. Um, 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 I've still got a picture of this. Oh, right, yes, this. Um, stick on the net, no. Disney Plus. Um, John Cena's new film, Vacation. Vacation yes, Friends. Where him and his missus meet another couple. And John yeah. Cena and his missus are really weird and goofy. Yeah, I've heard a lot of rev reviews about this, and yeah. it, it, it's good, apparently. Really? Yeah, apparently, it's one of I, Cena's uh, best films. See, as much as I adore Cena, I thought this was just going to be a bit like, ah, yeah, it's a guy king, or that apparently was Apparently, it's going to be one of his best films. Okay. So, it's, it's out now, people, for those who want to watch it. Oh, um, yeah, it's out where, where, on Disney Plus. Oh, sweet. Um, so. Yeah. Um, Vacation Friends is out. Go and watch it. No. Got a lot of interesting reviews on it. And what is also going to be out soon is World Beyond Season 2. Um, as Dan informed me this morning, there's an AMC Plus. Yes. Um, will be coming... If you've if you got AMC... Plus, Plus season episode sorry season, episode yes. three is up today. Well, at the time we're recording, that's Walking Dead people. We're yeah. about World Beyond. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, World Beyond season two will be premiering on the twenty sixth of September. That's World Beyond on AMC Plus. For those who can't get it on AMC Plus, it's coming a week later, so we'll be getting. So on they're the doing 3rd the exact same then of October. They're doing the exact same as the the main shot Walking yes. Dead. Yes, 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 yes. So, if you're thinking, well, why is this if Walking Dead's not finished yet? Time we get to the end of Walking Dead, we'll be at the end of World Beyond. But by the time we get to Walking Dead part, part, yeah. part one, so part, part yeah. one finishes, World Beyond finishes or starts. World Beyond will be also finishing. We're finishing. So then we're going to be on par, we're going to be on the yeah. same timeline. Because part B will be concentrating more on where Rick is and all that shenanigans, and then by the end of part B, that's when we'll get these films. Yeah, I was gonna, I was going to bring up what you think of Walking Dead, but I don't really want to say it because I've only watched one episode. Yeah, even though episode one was, I, I think the first two episodes of the series, uh, it's back to being absolutely epic. And Negan, season three, uh, Regan, uh, Regan, Negan and Maggie, they're hooking. <laughs> Mate, wait, wait for it. Obviously, I haven't watched episode three yet. I'll watch it. Probably after the football. Um, Does it, he return on top of the train? Mate, well, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is that. Right, going back to what I was talking about before. Right, Disney Plus. The Book of Bubba Fett. Ow. Uh, December. What? December this year? Yes. Mint. Why have they called it The Book of Bubba Fett? I Not that it's know. a bad title, but... I don't know. Unless it's just a book because they're telling his stories. Possibly. Um, for those who are thrilled to see Bubba Fett, Kick-Ass returns in The Mandalorian. Because I didn't get enough time screen. So Disney Plus have thought I'd give him a spin-off series called yeah. The Book of Bubba Fett. Me and you aren't the biggest knowledgeable guys in Star Wars, but the, the, the Mandalorian stuff is all set after the um, episodes 4, 5 and 6. And they come before the new trilogy. That's uh, why not much it. been revealed about the upcoming series, <laughs> but what we do know that it will be set during the Mandalorian. 
Right, yeah, so Mandalorian. Oh, so wait. It's set during what Boba Fett was doing whilst Mandalorian was going on. Yes. It's kind of weird how you're not big Star Wars guy, but you love Mando. You know what I mean? Mm. It's mad, isn't it? It is mad. Like you love one aspect. Because I, I like it all on a whole. I've, I've seen them all. I'm just, I've just... seen them all. Like I said, the last three films I really enjoyed. Yeah. But it's more recent. But I I, uh, I love it more just because I love lightsabers. If they didn't have lightsabers, I, I probably wouldn't <laughs> care as much. But like I said, I, I grew up watching Star Trek. Be father. Star Trek's cool and fun. It's just like anything with Star in the name wins. Star Wars wins because of the lights. Like I said, that scene of Luke coming back was one of the best scenes I've ever seen ever. It was just, and that's coming from a guy that's not massive on this stuff. Like, oh, I'm assuming it's main event time. Just put his phone down. I want to know the show. But Karen, what were you going to say? No, that wasn't main event. <laughs> oh, you cunt! Oh, you fucking arsehole! I didn't oh. say it was that all go back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But no, yeah, Mandalorian's fucking fantastic. I'm down for... Boba Fett's a, an awesome character. I know he's massive in the actual proper Star Wars fans, not the casual fans like me and you. He's massive with all of them. Stop being fucking storms! And my dog's the same. Fucking arsehole. He's going to swallow it and come and... <laughs> what are you doing? Freak. Away. Freak side! Um, so yes, people, that is this week's episode no. with a bit of last week's episode because there was a whole lot of shenanigans going on, a lot of background noise, so we're not even too sure. Drunk veal. Drunk veal. Um, whatever else. What are you doing to me? I took a stone off him. This, this thing is to come in and pester Chris. What? Not really going to eat me. Just I'll be careful mate, them fucking little teeth. I know. Mate, there'll I know. be a hole in that shirt. The hole in my shirt, you're buying me a new shirt. My mate, back. Fucking <laughs> buy me a pair of fucking shoes first. <laughs> my back. A little shit. A pair of 120 quid fucking Nike Air Forces. Little Ooh, twats. Your little shit bag. Your little yeah. shit bag. But, oh well. Oh yes, that was Boba Fett. Boba Fett. And that, that was, was the this news. week's news. We have a bit of last week's in it. Do you mind you my jeans, little shit? They my dog sh- doesn't even do that. They my shoes on you. Jeans should be survive his baby teeth. <laughs> Go away! You're not got a bone. Um, He's got a chip. I'll take him upstairs in a second anyway. And it'll be so, yeah, oh! there's a lot. Looks like there's a lot of stuff to happen. A lot of stuff to still to watch. This year is kind of going to be the better year for stuff to come out. Especially but, we've said MCU shit. Yes, uh, but obviously with shit getting pushed back and whatever else, it's kind of a bit of an up, up and down year. There's stuff that we both want to see, but it keeps getting pushed back. But there's also new stuff that's coming out, so I suppose yeah. it's keeping us going until... Mate, imagine if we then. didn't have streaming sites during this whole pandemic stuff. Yeah, we would be back in the fucking 90s. <sighs> I mean, don't get wrong. I know <laughs> what, what I'm trying about here is proper fucking new world problems. Oh, we haven't got stuff to watch. Um, but it would be chaotic. Because about of like, during like quarantine and lockdown... Uh, you couldn't have a fucking stone. The amount of shows and sh- uh, stuff that I give a, a, sh- a try to because I think mm. I've got the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah, it, like Dan said, if you're familiar with watching certain things, fair enough. Not, but naughty. Naughty. Watch, just explore a bit. They say there's Disney Plus, there's shitloads on that piece to watch. Apple TV, Disney Plus is shitloads. Nuts. Now they've got stars and everything else, there's shitloads. It's so currently for. Uh, there's Apple TV where there's, sh- like, again, it's more sci fi stuff on Apple TV, but if you love your sci fi, recommend you getting it. It's, again, it's five nine, four ninety nine a month. Recommend getting that. Um, Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime, there's, sh- there's always something popping up on Amazon Prime. Um, <laughs> Netflix. Do you mind? Netflix, again, there's always something popular on Netflix. Yeah, there's always there's shit on shit Netflix. Shit loads for you to watch. So, just fucking... I don't know. If you've got now to do and you can't go far... Mate, I now, watch, I now watch a show about drag queens competing against each other. And there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? The fucking... I don't really care about talent shows or that kind of shit, but because that show is so shady... I don't even say words like shady, but now I do. I, so I've just fi- I've finished season four, uh, you know, sorry, season three of The Good Doctor. I've got right into this. Yeah, you, you, you've said some good things about that. I've got right into this. It's The Good Doctor, people. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you do it. It's a guy who's got autism. It, the, the beginning of it is a bit sad. Yeah, you're talking about fucking rabbits dying? Yeah. The beginning, the beginning of it is a bit sad, but basically he ends up becoming a doctor. 
a surgeon, and they weren't too sure with him at first, but he proves himself. He can see things that other doctors can't. He really proves himself, and it's such a heartwarming story because he's struggling with life and understanding people, but he also befriends a girl who was his neighbour, um, who now turns into his girlfriend and for the forward going on. Um, so, yeah, I recommend watching The Good Doctor because I fucking loved it. I even I was even crying at some points. Aww. I don't know why. I just, I, as you'll notice, Dan, as you get older, you become more and more fucking soppy. But you don't need to worry about that. I cry at everything. I cry at trailers. I never cried it out. It's and everything. now I fucking cry at everything. But even when it's really good, hey, don't you jack it. <laughs> even when it's like a really happy film, I cry because I'm so happy or I cry because I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the Spider Verse, I can't watch Miles jump off that building when he becomes or realizes that he has the potential to become a good spider. I, I can't help but get like thingy. So you don't have to worry about that, mate. I've already got the tears. So it's it. I, yes, I recommend you should watch it. And for some strange reason, I've got a thing with autistic people. I don't know what it is. I've got a thing <laughs> with autistic people. If you got a bit of autism, <laughs> you're right for me. <laughs> yeah, do you know what's mad about autism though? Is obviously it wasn't until a few years ago I learned because I was an autistic kid in my school who um, had it on really, really bad. You could barely speak and stuff. And I didn't realise you could have autism, but still just, be like me and you, but we could just have a mild bit of autism where we do certain stuff or whatever. But another thing is, a lot of autistic people seem to be fucking crazy talented. Oh, they are, definitely. It's mad, isn't it? Oh, it's... It's, it's weird what your brain... If your brain loses a certain thing, it gains on other things. It's like if you lose your eyesight, you gain on your hearing or vice versa. It's like, uh, did you see that, that dude? He's American. He flew over New York City for 20 minutes. He's got autism. And then he comes back and he paints a massive canvas. And everything is, is literally detailed. Uh, detail. I think I have, like, I have read it. He's, like a, he's got a bird's eye vision of... Mate, it's but like every window is in. Yeah. Every car, even like the cars on the streets and shit. How many lights were on like a certain brick? It's like, what the f- Yeah, he's got a bird's eye vision of something. Me and you couldn't look at that picture and then like for 10 years straight and then come back and tell you exactly what was there. But he can look over 20 minutes. And then he got oh, to, yeah, And he's like, what the fuck? It's weird. Like, it's elder- Fuck's he doing? I don't know. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a weird what abilities you gain when you lose other abilities. Yeah, it's, it's crazy as fuck. It's, and it also depends on where you live as well. Um, because there's, there's, there's people, they're called the sea people, where they basically live on in huts in water. In huts in water. I think in huts in water. Table. And the door's open. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's mother there? And that tail, I think. you end up, you, your eyesight becomes oh, like a million times better than what normal people are. So they can like, you can fucking see a hell of a lot better, they can breathe underwater a lot easier. Can I go on to see your thing? Weird as fuck. Yes. Because if not, there's all the other bits that might be. Chris I've got has got that. some radiator extended shenanigans, probably. So I've just squidged that on the top, eh? Yeah. That'll do. But yeah, that was this week's entertainment news. News podcast. Well, he- that's all right. We're done now anyway. Uh, I'm going to go carry on watching the house on my ticket. Channel City. Good, because I've got City on my coupon. But thank you for listening. Thank you, Chris. Thank Thanks. Keep it you, keep on giving up. As always. Bye.